Good evening. I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> Hello, yes people, Tottenham have absolutely annihilated uh, Villa away from home today in a 4-0 win. If you're new to the channel, please give us a like, share, comment and subscribe so you never miss a video. Wowie, I don't even know where to start with this one. This game had it all. I think every Spurs fan going into this game, and I also was scared, was just a bit like there's a lot riding on this game and we need to get it right. Uh, the game started and as per usual, Spurs didn't know where their shooting boots were. And we had a lot of chances, it was just the final third just really wasn't working for us um at times as well we were very very sloppy with the ball to say the least i think romero gave the ball away three times but we were organized in a way that meant if we did do a sloppy pass not that i want to see it week in week out we did manage to obviously get rid of the ball and clear it um again and at half time did his magical uh and half time talk where he managed to put a rocket up everyone's ass because we came out and decided that we were going to lace up our shooting boots and the goal first of all came from madison where he did his dart into the uh, home end uh, <laughs> which was quite entertaining to watch uh we then also saw uh, a brilliant cross from Saar to make that goal happen. Saar was incredible today. And then the man of the moment, a couple of moments later, manages to find the back of the net with a lovely bit of skill from Brennan Johnson. Um, we need to stop hating on this geezer because he's coming up with the goods week in, week out. And I think he's finally found his groove. Um, and then there was a moment of madness where McGinn was shown a red card and we were all saying, bye-bye, see you later. Um, I must admit, it's going to probably sound very controversial, but... I'm here to be transparent with my views and say that I think when it was when I saw it in real time, I thought, yeah, he's getting he's finally getting booked for this one. And then to see the red, I was like, has he given a red to then get it overturned? Because he's not too sure. But no, VAR was happy with it. So um, I guess in terms, that's kind of karma, I guess, if football has karma within it. Uh, so then they were down to 10 and then the floodgates decided they were going to open because then we saw a goal uh, from Werner the burner when he came on. Again, lovely finish from him. Um, again, he's another player that I think is finally finding his groove and finding the back of the nets. Very impressed with him. And then Sonny goes and does Sonny things and scores the fourth and final one. He is now the fifth all-time uh, top goal scorer again. Well, joint, shall I say, which is amazing. Um, Sonny is just Sonny. We know he's brilliant. Um, for me, obviously, I'm a bit worried about Mickey van der Ven. He went off again. Uh, holding his hamstring. I would rally everybody round, or I would donate my hamstring, but I don't think they're quite long enough uh, for his long legs. Um, I'm just hoping that he does obviously become better from that, and it's not something that we need to worry about too much. Um, but my word, it was a brilliant performance from Spurs. I think that's the first time, bar again, maybe the first half, that although we were very dominant, we just didn't decide to shoot. But I think we were very convincing in that win today, and I think the scoreline shows that I don't think Villa really had anything going really for them. Um, I think we managed to play the game very, very well with a high press. Ollie Watkins really, really um, disappointed me. Obviously, I know I'm not a Villa fan, but it just didn't do anything. It just kept falling on the floor. But again, I think that's credit to our defenders for, for doing the business and keeping them out of the game. But yes, I'm so pleased with this result. We needed three points. Not only have we got three points, we've also got a clean sheet and four goals. Who would have thought it, hey? Um, but yes, very, very pleased. Remember, tomorrow on Holly Sock Spurs, I'll be joined by three fabulous guests, including Russ, Josh and Alan, uh, to dissect this game in more detail. And I think we're going to have a good, a good session tomorrow doing so. So I hope you join me then, 7pm, and we can dissect it in more detail. Come on, you Spurs!